Hi, favorite students. We're now looking at question number two in our projectiles packet. Here are the medium question, still on page six. I'm not going to work through a full solution. I'm just going to give you one hint to help you get started and let you take it from there. So what's tricky about this problem is it tells us the initial velocity, but it says that that velocity is at an angle here 30 degrees above the horizontal. So what we have to do is we have to split into its components. So the initial velocity in the x direction and the initial velocity in the y direction. And the way we're going to do that is with everyone's favorite, Sokotoa. So I'm going to start by finding the initial velocity in the x direction, the x component of the initial velocity. I know that the total velocity is my hypotenuse, and here the x component is adjacent to my angle. So if I have the hypotenuse and the adjacent, I know that I am going to use cosine. So I write that the cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent side divided by the total, or the x velocity divided by the total velocity. And then if I multiply both sides by the total, I would get initial velocity in the x direction is equal to the total initial velocity times the cosine of the angle, which is 30. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to write 50 times the cosine of 30. And when I type that into my calculator, I'm going to get 43.3 meters per second. So the initial velocity in the x direction is 43.3 meters per second. Now we need to find the initial velocity in the y direction, this piece here. I know that my total velocity is the hypotenuse, the component I am looking for, the y component, is the opposite. If I have opposite and hypotenuse, I know that I have to use sine. So the sine of my angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. I multiply both sides by v naught, and I get that the total velocity multiplied by the sine of the angle is equal to the y component of the velocity. So if I come up here, 50 sine angle equals 25 meters per second. So this object that gets launched with an initial velocity of 50 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees has an initial x component of velocity of 43.3 meters per second and a y component of velocity of 25 meters per second. From here, you should be able to use the OK team method and solve the rest of the problem. The only other hint that you might need is that the ball is going to fly so we'll come over here. If I have my ground, the ball is going to kind of fly up and come back down. And it's important to remember that whatever initial velocity it has in the y direction, it's going to go up, it's going to come down, and it will have the same velocity, sorry, the final velocity, in the y direction will be the same size, but it will be negative. So here, 
we said that the y direction was 25 meters per second, which means when the ball lands, its y velocity will be negative 25 meters per second. And with those two hints, I think that you can probably figure out how to solve the rest of the problem. Good luck. Be the leaders that your community needs and deserves. Choose to be great and make your dreams come true.